Welcome to Electra Online and now we're going to do a few examples of how insurance companies operate. And the insurance company operate with something called the expected value. So let's say you want to buy a $50,000 life insurance policy and for a person of your age and, and your gender you have the probability of, of living in one more year of 0.995. So 99.5% probability that you'll still be alive at the end of this next year. So what would be the expected value? In other words, that means the break-even point without any expenses. So if they take in all the premium, premium money and they give all the premium money away to people who die, then they should have zero money left over at the end of the year. Of course, not paying for employees' wages and so forth, and the buildings and the rentals and all that. If you leave everything else the same, what would be the expected value? The minimum you'd expect to pay, probably more than that, because you also have to pay for the employees that work for the company and all the expenses that they have and probably some profit to go along with it as well. All right, so the expected value then is as follows. E sub x is equal to, well, if they have to pay out this $50,000, that's a negative against the company. So we're going to multiply the probability that that will happen times the amount of money that they will have to pay out, which is in a negative quantity. The probability would be 0 0.005. That's the probability that you will die times a negative $50,000 they would have to pay to you. And then the probability that you will not die where they can take your premium in and then not have to pay, uh, that would be plus the probability, which is 0 0.995 times the premium that would you have to pay. And they want that to be even Steven, meaning they would have no money left out if they break even, so that would have to be equal to zero. That's the expected value. So now what X would be? What would the premium have to be so that they could cover all the expenses they would have to pay for people of your gender and your age? Okay, let's go ahead and work that out. So point that, uh, wow, that's times three. That would be 250, so minus 250, plus 0.995x equals zero. So when we move this over to the other side, we get 0.995x is equal to a positive $250. And then if we divide both sides by 0.995, 0 0.995, Nine five, where the x is equal to, and so two fifty divided by point nine nine five. That means a minimum premium expected of two hundred and fifty one dollars and twenty six cents. So to get that fifty thousand dollar policy, if you have the uh, probability of living one more year to be point nine nine five then that policy would cost you a minimum of $251.26. So the company would break even if they had no other expenses. All right, and that's how we find out what insurance premium should be like. Now in the next example, we're going to come up with something a little bit more complicated, a little bit more practical. For example, let's talk about uh, fire insurance or homeowner's insurance in the protection of your home. And let's say, how do companies figure out how much they should charge you? So in the next example, we'll get you a, a more realistic example of how that works.